Hello, Claire Yosa here from the EU VAT Action Campaign team and I want to update you about the Irish Revenue Moss letters that have gone out to hundreds of people over the last few days. Lots of you who are registered for VAT Moss have received letters that look like a scam and actually they're not. They're asking you to pay debts of up to millions of euros and they're actually a system error from the Irish Revenue. So we've been talking to our fantastic contacts HMRC this morning. They've confirmed it was a mistake by Irish Revenue. The Irish Revenue should be putting out a statement very shortly to confirm that. And in the meantime, whichever member state you're currently living in, please contact your tax authority if you've had one of these letters and ask them to complain to the Irish Revenue on your behalf and ask them to confirm in writing that this is not a letter that you need to deal with. The thing is, we're actually really pleased it's not a scam because it had so much of the information about businesses, though it didn't include the VATMOS registration number, which is another part of the mistake, that people actually were quite scared that maybe there'd been a data breach. There hasn't. This is a system error from the Irish Revenue. Unfortunately, it's just yet another nail in the coffin of this legislation. We've had now the Irish Revenue letters, we've had people being pursued over amounts as small as a euro and below by Luxembourg, Germany, Denmark, and Sweden. So we've got member states going direct to individual businesses where there's been rounding errors or small errors on the VATMOS return form. The thing is, they're actually allowed to do that under this legislation. It had been hoped that there was a gentleman's agreement that meant that they would only go through your member state tax authority when they found a small error, so that your tax authority could either deal with it for you and say, look, that's a rounding error, just, you know, or send the information through. Unfortunately, most member states are not playing ball with this. So this is one of the things at the Fiscalis Summit in September that we will be raising as a matter of urgency. Not only do businesses have the burden of complying with this legislation that was designed for multinationals, but now they're at risk of being pursued by up to 27 other member states over pennies. And the administrative burden of that is huge. At least so far, every communication has come out in English, which for the English businesses, English speaking businesses has been great. But imagine if you were having to pay translation fees and international tax lawyer fees. The cost of this is huge. So for the Fiscalis Summit, which we're attending on your behalf in Dublin from the 7th to 9th of September, what we will be asking for is a threshold based on your exports. So getting away from the whole argument about harmonising EU VAT rates, saying for every business across the world, the first €100,000 that they sell digitally into the EU falls under their domestic VAT rules. The other thing we'll be asking for, because this could still take years to legislate, is for an immediate easement, a suspension of the rules for micro-businesses while the legislation is put through. We're also going to be asking for a simplification of the three pieces of data that you need to collect during the transaction to prove the place of supply, so that for micro-businesses just one will suffice across the world, and that that would be the, the address the country code supplied by the payment processor. And the fourth thing we're going to be asking for is not just a gentleman's agreement that the other member states will go through your tax authority over any issues, but for that to become part of the legislation for micro-businesses. Because what this legislation has done, instead of tiny businesses only dealing with their own tax authority on everything, suddenly they have to know 81 VAT rates. They need to know when they change. They need to prove with three bits of data, some of which we can't even collect, where the customer is. And now we're at risk of having to deal with 28 different tax authorities, tax administrations, including our own. It's just crazy. The EU Commission has admitted it's an unreasonable burden. They've admitted there should have been a threshold. How can you help? We really need your help right now. Please look at those four things we're asking for. Write to your, UK, your, your country's finance minister. Write to your tax authority, to the person that's responsible for VATMOS. Write to your MEPs and ask them to make sure that at the Fiscalis Summit in September, those points are what your country is asking for. The more countries that ask for this, the more chance there is that that will come out of the summit as a recommendation. The thing is as well, when you're writing to the MEPs, Please avoid using these online services that send mail shots to all of your MEPs. Please try and take that extra five minutes to send an individual personal email to each MEP. You're probably going to need to include your contact address so that they know you're within their constituency. 
the thing is that so many MEPs are being blasted by these mail shot services. They've actually admitted they're not really reading those emails anymore. They're not paying them much attention. An individual email to them, you can use the same text with those four points, makes so much more difference and it only takes you a couple of minutes. And please also in these letters include a little bit about your personal story. How has the new EU VAT legislation affected you personally as a business? What does it cost you in time, in money, in stress, in lost customers? Which plans have you cancelled? Allow them to really understand the human impact of this and help them understand the sense of urgency. When you've done that, please let us know via the comments. It would be fantastic to hear from you. Thank you so much for the support. We cannot achieve this without you. And already the progress we've all made together is incredible. Let's make this next push really, really count.